OpenAI has just turbocharged ChatGPT with official ChatGPT plugins, which is an absolute game changer in terms of its capability and the advancement of AI in general. Plugins will finally give ChatGPT answers from current events. You'll be able to get it to interact with files you upload, including pictures, videos, and audio. It'll interact with code like we've never seen before. It can connect to your website and way, way more. It's pretty much the T-1000 from Terminator 2 on steroids coming to AI. And today, we'll look at how to use ChatGPT plugins. OpenAI has introduced four different kinds of new ChatGPT plugins. Third-party plugins, a browsing plugin, code interpreter plugin, and a retrieval plugin. Plugins give ChatGPT the ability to interact with the wider world through the internet, access up-to-date information, run computations, or use third-party services. In a moment, I'll summarize each of these four, what they are and how they can be used with demos. But first, let's talk about how to access and use ChatGPT plugins. Unfortunately, ChatGPT plugins are currently only available in the form of a limited alpha release for developers and insiders. So for you, how to access ChatGPT plugins? Well, OpenAI has a waitlist page for those who want to access. Here is the ChatGPT plugins waitlist area, and as you can see, it's a quick and simple registration. So go ahead and do that ASAP to get in line. To get more priority, subscribing to OpenAI's paid service, ChatGPT Plus, may help since OpenAI says it's prioritizing a small number of developers and ChatGPT Plus users. But yeah, at the least, go on the ChatGPT plugins waitlist to try to get access to ChatGPT plugins. Watch this video here to see more on how to access ChatGPT plugins. Now let's go over the four different plugin types. Plugin type one, ChatGPT third-party plugins. ChatGPT will support plugins developed both by third-party developers and OpenAI itself. While announcing the ChatGPT plugin support, OpenAI showcased 11 plugins developed by third-party services such as Slack, Zapier, Expedia, and Instacart, as well as showing how to use ChatGPT plugins, specifically the web browser and code interpreter plugins, which was developed by the OpenAI company itself. The plugins give ChatGPT the ability to interact with the wider world through the internet, including booking flights, ordering groceries, browsing the web, and more. Plugin type two, the ChatGPT browsing plugin. This is the best OpenAI ChatGPT plugin for me. It's a tool that allows ChatGPT to access the internet and retrieve relevant up-to-date information. Let's take a look at how to use the ChatGPT browsing plugin with their demo. It uses the Bing AI API to browse the net and intelligently draw data and infer from it. For example, OpenAI asked the service about the 2023 Oscar winners. Using the plugin, ChatGPT was able to browse the internet, retrieve the relevant information, and provide an accurate response. You could then further interact with it based on what the conversation was you're already having with ChatGPT. The plugin is one of many that OpenAI has implemented to ChatGPT to extend its scope beyond the slurry of internet training data to bespoke business information. Time for a quick fact. You'll be able to use all of these plugins on your phone and you should definitely 100% download the ChatGPT app shortcut, which only takes one minute to set up so that you can open up ChatGPT with a single tap from your phone's home screen. I've got the tutorial for both iPhone and Android versions in the links popping up right now. So watch them and get them downloaded. Plugin type three, the code interpreter plugin. This is an OpenAI ChatGPT plugin that allows ChatGPT to execute Python code and handle uploads and downloads. The Code Interpreter plugin is particularly useful for running computations and interacting with external services through Python code. It can handle uploads and downloads of files and execute Python code in a safe environment. This means that users can use ChatGPT to run Python code without having to worry about security issues or other problems that might arise from running code on their own machines. The Code Interpreter plugin also allows users to upload files to ChatGPT and download files from ChatGPT. This makes it easy for users to work with data in a variety of formats and to share data with others. Plugin type four, the retrieval plugin. This is an OpenAI ChatGPT plugin that can be used to retrieve data from a wide range of sources, including databases, APIs, and web pages. 
This data can then be used by ChatGPT to generate responses to user queries. For example, if a user asks ChatGPT for information about a particular topic, the retrieval plugin can be used to search for relevant information on the internet and provide it to ChatGPT for use in generating a response. One of the key benefits of the retrieval plugin is that it allows ChatGPT to generate responses that are more accurate and up to date than would be possible using internal knowledge alone. By retrieving data from external sources, ChatGPT can ensure that its responses are based on the latest information available. Watch this video here to see more on how to use ChatGPT plugins. In summary though, OpenAI ChatGPT plugins are tools designed specifically for language models with safety as a core principle. They help ChatGPT access up-to-date information, run computations, or use third-party services. Plugins can be used to extend the functionality of ChatGPT and allow it to interact with external services without leaving the chat interface. They can also help improve the accuracy of responses generated by ChatGPT. If you haven't already downloaded the ChatGPT app shortcut for your iPhone or Android, then watch this video to learn how to do that. So click that now and I'll see you there.